bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. And welcome to French Hot Beer Reviews. Mr. Freeze has a very interesting bottle of beer from Dogfish Head. I know that brewery. Where are they from? Delaware. They are from Delaware. Yeah. They got a hotel, they got a distillery, they got a brewery. They got a lot. Yeah. It's like a resort for adults. We are playing the music from the band they did a collaboration with on this beer, The Flaming Lips. This is Do You Realize by The Flaming Lips, and we're going to have some songs playing by them in the background. So enjoy the music in the background. I saw The Flaming Lips once at a Lollapalooza, and they were weird. <laughs> they have the singer go in this giant hamster ball, pretty much, as he sings a song and people bounce him around. It was wild. Cool label. This is called Dragons and Yum Yums. Should be interesting. It's a pale ale. It's got all kinds of... Uh, it's a dragon fruit, yum berry, passion fruit, pear juice, black black carrot juice. What? I didn't even know there were black carrots. I had no idea, but I don't know how I feel. Yeah? Uh, Warrior Hops. And it has a theme song. What's the yeah. theme song? It's by Flaming Lips. Right, but what's the song? Um, something about pouring a yum yum beer in your ear. Okay. It's pink, this beer. It is. That's another reason I don't know how I feel about it. It's a rosé. Yeah. I love trying stuff that's so... Like, Dogfish Head does a lot of stuff. Bizarre stuff. Yeah. Way out there. And sometimes it works, and sometimes it fails miserably with me. But, um... Now, this isn't a sour, right? This is an ale? Milton, Delaware. That's where they're from, in Delaware. Um, it's listed as a pale ale. All right. Well, let's get to it. Come on. Um, but, we'll see. I think we pretty much uh, gave the info up there, right? We gave the percentage and the IBUs. Yeah. Why, well, he's yapping if you want to scroll down and subscribe and stuff, you know. That's a great idea. Yeah, he talks a lot, so you have plenty of time to do it. You're not going to miss anything because we're not even going to sniff it before you click the subscribe and notification. You know, not notification for button. sure. We like to go live and give t-shirts away. Who else does that in the beer, the beer tubers world? Uh -huh. I don't know of anyone. Someone might. Some of like the big, the big shots. Like we're just a little guy still. They don't do much. Mm -hmm. we, we give back. What do we got for bubbles? I got mixed. Bubbles. You got large bubbles. Yeah, I got minimal, minimal bubbles. Yeah. And uh, a little sticky glass. Yeah, here. it is definitely a pink, pinkish. Oh yeah, it's color rose. Uh, filtered for sure. Yep. There are no sea monkeys at I'm all. I'm sticking my nose in it. Get it. Get it. Interesting. It smells it, sour. It borderlines that sour, wild kind of beer. I gotcha. Scent. It does, for sure. But it's right on the cusp. You like that word? Cusp. Cusp. Okay. I'm listening to the lyrics. This game, this uh, this song was on on Rock Band, the the video game. I know some people played that for a while. Probably still do by yourself in your underwear. Cheers, my friend. <laughs> Let's drink. Pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's definitely fruity and it. It's not sour at all. No. It doesn't even have the funk. A little bit of funk, maybe. Not much, though. It's, uh, um... It is fruity. Really different beer. Extremely. Which I expected, but I, I thought it might be different in a way that I didn't like it. Mm hmm But I'm kind of not sure what I think. I think I'm into it. Point. Yeah. <laughs> And that's what the flaming lips will do to you. You're like, Six and a half percent. What is this nonsense? And then you listen for a while and you're like, this is kind of weird, but I like yeah. it. I don't know if I've ever known of a beer that fit the collaboration better. Flaming lips are a weird band, and yeah. this is a weird beer. 
But it's a beer. It, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we'll often say sometimes it doesn't taste like a beer, or it's not a beer. Or, yeah. In our, and that's strictly in our minds. I mean, we're no, we can't no. judge that kind of stuff. We're, but, we are beer enthusiasts. Yes. We're not, we're not nowhere near, uh, what do they call those, a sommelier? That's the, wine, they, they maybe they do it for beer, too. Uh, pass some kind of course. Right. But we drank a lot of craft beer in the last 20 years or so. I mean... Before, that doesn't include the other beer. Before craft beer was really <laughs> even on the scene, we were drinking craft beers. Right. Double black stouts from Red Hook and... Southern Tear. Yeah. But, um... I don't Yetis. know. This is Remember a, Oak Age Yeti? It's a tough one for me to rate. Like, it is. It's a... Well, that's not... It doesn't really fall into the pale ale standard of beer. It's something that I would tell you... If you see this and you can buy a single, check it out because it's you're not gonna you're not gonna hate it for sure. And no. you might you might actually like it. It's light on a hot day. This would be pretty freaking good. I think so. Minus six and a half percent heat, he's yeah. not just in the pool after. Maybe it's like just... I'm picturing like um, wearing a clown costume, maybe having a, like a big. Pink cotton candy in one hand and one in the yeah. other hand. Go we'll see Alyssa and Megan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what am I gonna rate this beer? Um, I'm gonna rate it a three seven. Three point seven. It's good. That's what I got. That's what I got on this. It's good. I I recommend this trying is a tough it. one. I mean, if I put it towards the <laughs> pale, yeah, it's kind of it's, it's a fruited pale ale. Like it's weird. Three seven is not a bad number. I it's odd. Both of the digits are odd. This beer is odd. I mean, it kind of fits. All right, I'll do a three six. Okay. <laughs> So that puts us at a three, six, five. Good for Forget you. That. Good for you. So now all we need is our untapped score. But guys, like, I don't know if there's been many beers that I that I could say, like, just buy one of them and I think you'll like it. Like, usually I, if, if I were to say that, I'd say buy a six pack or, but yeah, I don't know. This, this beer just hits me that way. Uh, 35,000 reviews. Buy one and try it. None of them are our friends. All right, we're the first one of our, our small. In a bottle? Here. Yes, sir. Oh, it comes on draft. You guys probably know this song, Vaseline by Flaming Lips. It's probably their, their biggest, like. 3.64. Oh, Jeff, are you serious? I am. We got 3.65. Overall, it was a 3.63, but the bo in a bottle, it's 3.64. And this isn't even in our wheelhouse. That just shows you, like, we are beer enthusiasts. Yikes. Yeah. <laughs> but, I already went over what to do if you like our videos. Scroll down, like, subscribe, and click the notification buttons. Yeah. yeah. Check us out elsewhere. We try to go live media. once a month. Um, sometimes it goes a little bit over that, but... Um... We're catching nah. up on our videos now. We're due and, for uh, one, actually. We're very due for one. Yeah, yeah, people like it. We act stupid. And you can ask us questions live. and we'll Listen to me pee. Bring out beers, and you guys can pick which one we drink next, and we'll tell you about it. Yeah. It's a All good time. Of fun we stuff. give away a t-shirt, usually. So, um, Maybe we should do a hat or something, too. We don't have hats. No hats? We can't find anyone to do like a good hat. Uh -huh. That's in the works, for sure. Definitely. I thought that would be cool to give away. But yeah. we'll look at it. You know, maybe we'll do some leggings. <laughs> a lot of the a lot of the females are a big fan of the French Rose oh, Bear View leggings. leggings. I so. want to do a question and answer thing, but um, I don't know. Maybe we could just do a separate video with like people sending questions. No, nah, you got to do that live, but it would be a lot of the same yeah. folk. Yeah, most of the people who tune in like know us. Not really. Yeah, we, we had some. We get our friends around the country. Yeah. But anyhow, not to bore you with that. Yeah. Uh, that's all we got on this beer. Have a great night, and Thank uh, thanks for watching. Thank you, guys. Hundreds of
bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by turning on into French Hall. 